Hello everybody and welcome back to another very special episode of Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with Mio Xfu. And, well, we're going on a little bit of a journey. Because, as someone pointed out, I don't remember your name, I'll put it up right there. Right, right, uh, right at the top of the screen as soon as I go out. Now, bam, there's your name. Hopefully. Hopefully. This guy, I'm pointing at your name right now, reminded me that we actually did find the Magnum a while ago. Well, great, a liquor, again. <laughs> Gonna waste all my ammo going back to get it, aren't I? It's okay, we got Magnum ammo in a chest. So, hopefully, That's not good. Hopefully... <laughs> we're... Gonna be okay. Well, that guy would've jumped out at us anyway, because we gotta go back to that door after we open it back up. Oh, but there's the Triffids up here. But anyway, we're going back on a journey. Back to the police station, if we can. If not, I'm still gonna leave this video in, because... Hey, it's blind, and I don't know if I can get back or not. I'm assuming I can. I'm hoping I can, but we're gonna find out in just a few seconds whether we can or not. I really hope I can, because if I can't get the Magnum, that's gonna really suck. Oh, no Triffid this time. Hmm, very nice. Hmm, hmm, I like that. Um, but... <laughs> Yeah, I'm really hoping that I can go back up that, that rail. Because it's really going to suck if I can't. Really going to suck. Because that means no Magnum. I'm going to have a lot of trouble dealing with future enemies. Because it's a, an entire weapon's worth of ammo that I can't use then. Oh, was it this panel? or No, we have to get in the train, don't we? Of course, I'm gonna get stuck on the on the little panel. Come on, Chris. Please, please, go in. Go. Oh, okay, maybe we can go back. Fingers crossed. Toes crossed. Even my pinky toes crossed. That's how much I'm hoping that we can go back. What were you again? You were nothing. That's right. We need to just go around. No, wait. No, wait, we had to use a key out on that control box, didn't we? Uh-oh. Hmm. Maybe... This is not good. I'm... Did we have to use a key? Oh, man. This is what I... This is why I hate waiting so long between recording sessions. I can't help it, though. I just started school this week. Well, started school again this week um you know it's my senior year and i should be able to relax you know taking light classes like most seniors just breeze through the last semester no <laughs> taking the hardest classes i've ever taken well hardest course load i've ever taken probably oh. i can't interact with that so either I can't go back up, or there's the key that we had, maybe? But it wasn't the W key, whatever it was called. It was... Maybe you're in here? Not the lab card key. Not the W box key. Not the valve handle. Well, ain't that a kick in the pants. Um, so it looks like we're not going to be going up to, uh, get the Magnum. This is going to make for an interesting game. <laughs> oh, man. Finishing Resident Evil 2 without the Magnum. It's like, that's like, that's, that's going to be like finishing Resident Evil 1 without the rocket launcher. Impossible. <laughs> No, I have no idea, because um, it's a blind let's play. It's to 
totally blind let's play and I'm totally being serious no I actually am <laughs> but <laughs> uh, we can actually open up this place though no because we're gonna get more triffids behind there I'm gonna open up this one because I don't know it's a better idea I think Maybe there won't be enemies up here. There are, but, um... Sounds like we got a second or two before they get close. Ooh, we're gonna have to use the shotgun on them. That's not good. Oh, wait, there was something else there. Grab it! Okay, don't grab it, Leon. Jeez. He's gonna grab onto your feet. Nope! Okay. Oh. Might as well collect them. Might as well collect them. As a reminder that I was dumb. That I was foolish. <sighs> Harry's gonna hate me. He's gonna be late. He's gonna just be so disappointed that I'm using elephant guns on zombies. That's pretty funny, actually. Hey, I took out two, I think. No, I didn't. I'm getting faster, too. Such a small, cramped room. I doubt I could have done much more. Light switch. Yes, push it. Is there anything on these? No. That's, that's nice. I wonder if... Because I know they're the same guy. Or no, it wasn't the same guy, was it? I don't know. Wait, activator. VAM for base vaccine synthesis. Aha! Too bad I don't have a vaccine or anything. But no, someone was telling me, Hey, you're not checking the bodies enough. You can get ammo and stuff from them. I'm like, I should know that. Played through Resident Evil 1 after all. So, just wondering if the enemies might have ammo on them too because I've actually uh, read the manual <laughs> reading the manual I mean it's not that it's not like there was that much that was new in it but no we can't use the ammo di what what do we need the, where do we need to use the ammo disk try to remember but it's not like there was anything that was that new in the manual. There might have been a name in the manual. You You murdered my husband. I know what you're looking for. Aren't you, you came for the dead? Virus, didn't you? Never take it from me. This is my husband's legacy. Now, where's that spy you were working with earlier? You know who I'm talking about. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing you mean Ada. You really don't know anything, do you? <laughs> You're so gullible. She's one of the operatives sent here by the agency. The only reason why she came here is to obtain the G-Virus. That's a lie. No, it's kind of obvious, Leon. No, it's the truth. I discovered this when I did a background check on her. She specifically got close to John and became his girlfriend to get information about Umbrella. She's not really a run-of-the-mill run journalist. I know her. Ada wouldn't do something like that. I've known her for like a couple of hours, man. If you don't want to believe it, I don't really care. You're about to die anyway. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey. Jeez. What happened? Watch where you're pointing that. I'm a police officer. <laughs> God, that was priceless. And we took the G virus. In, in, in the self-destruct sequence has been activated. Repeat: the self-destruct sequence has been activated. In exchange this for the may not be aborted. Lighter. All employees proceed to the emergency car at the bottom platform. Well, um. 
guess we're getting out of here. Yeah, let's see what's behind here quick. Uh, well, Leon disappeared again. What is behind door number two? Two or more staff need to be present to enter. Commencing with fingerprint verification. Will you proceed? Sure, why not? Not on file. Okay, so we can't do anything with that. Um, I'm assuming if I had checked around a little more, I could have probably done something with it. Can I do anything with her? No, okay. I mean, not, not do anything with her. I mean, ugh, I don't want to... Not that kind of guy. Um, I mean, can I, like, search her for her? The ammo for her pistol? That would have been nice. Leon. You! Who's coming? Yeah, you! <laughs> I've been waiting for you, Leon. Oh, come on. This is the second gun I've had pointed at me in like five minutes. What are you doing? You know what this is about. So just hand over the G virus. I don't believe this. Annette was right. About everything. Of course she was right. That's right there. In you black and white. Without me, but you wouldn't listen. Now hand it over. Don't make me shoot you. You can't I shoot can't me. Do that. Yeah, see? Even he knows it. And he's dumb as he's dumb as a sack of bricks. But the other girl can shoot you, Ada. which is why we probably should have left. Ada, I've got you. Oh come on, you got Don't stabbed through the on. stomach. And you got shot in the shoulder. There's no way you could hang on. <laughs> Leon, it's over. Just let me go. Shut up. You're gonna make it. I know it's not over. You're in... I can't remember. Resident Evil 5 or 6. One of them. No. I promised you that we would escape. You just have to help me out here. I... I really wanted... to escape from you, Leon. Escape from... everything. <laughs> I'm gonna have to put subtitles on that because I could barely hear what she was saying. I mean, dramatic music's nice, but it's a little loud. <laughs> You're just gonna sit there punching the floor. <laughs> it just, just looks like your model's kind of spazzing out more than anything. that toss. And looks like Ada's gun. There are no rounds left in the magazine. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, what made her do that? Oh, okay, I thought we could get Ada's gun maybe, but I guess not. Unless, unless, no. That would be too easy. All right, let's go escape. We got nothing left to wait for, I guess. Except, I'm guessing that that was a bad idea to throw the G virus down the same hole that someone just fell, and heavy air quotes died. Because I'm isn't I'm pretty sure she's in a later game. Again, I'm I'm doing this blind, but I'm not that blind. I know like. Leon's in Resident Evil 4. I know Chris is in Resident Evil 5, I think, and I, I thought Ada was in that one as well. But I could be wrong, because, I mean, I, I've never played them. <laughs> Only seen bits and pieces and heard about them, because... Oh, jeez! Whoa, 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 that's crazy. Whoa. <laughs> that was cool, actually. Oh. No! Leon, you could have gotten away, you didn't have to reload. You were a good man. Oh. Hello. Nope, run, 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 run. 
There's a disc slot. The monitor says insert verification MO disc to open the gate. Um, sure. Yeah. I kind of fudged that up quite a bit because I was in a hurry to get out. I have no idea how long a timer it is, so... I have no idea if it's even an actual timer, if it's just like... Oh, it's, the timer's gonna go off right when you get out. Probably, that's what I'm guessing. So... <laughs> I don't have to time, man! I gotta get out! Okay... Oh! There we go! I was think thinking it was too quiet. Oh, we're locked in. Isn't this fun? Oh. Elevator button. Yep. And here comes a time boss fight, I'm guessing. Yeah. Yep, there we go. Da -da. Or I don't know, boss fight music in general. Oh, and dead. <laughs> oh, that's a bit of a gruesome death. <laughs> well, I saw that coming a mile away. And still, Leon is able to yell with his head gone. <laughs> I'm guessing that's the final boss or something, which means if there's two discs to this game... I wonder how you play Claire's story. Hmm. Anyway. Resident Evil. I'll see you guys next time on Let's Blindly Play Resident Evil 2 with me, Lex Fu. Because you know what we're going to do? We're not going to go get the ammo disc right away. In fact, I'm going to check the other rooms that I didn't check. <laughs> Maybe get some ammo, something, I don't know. But we're gonna see, we're gonna we're gonna explore a little more because before we uh, just go on our way and try to fight that boss again. I don't even know if he's a final boss. I'm guessing he is because it's pretty much like the tyrant fight. You fight him once in a weaker state, and you fight him once in a stronger state. So. Anyway, we'll leave that all for next episode. Take it easy, guys.